Hello, Pisces and cross watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Today we are going to take a look at your broken heart tarot reading for the month of February. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something here in the message. I also do a drawing here every month for a free personal reading. If that's something you want to get entered into, all you have to do is comment your astrological sign below. I pull a positive affirmation card at the end of every message for a little positive boost. And lastly, guys, if you find the messages helpful, that it resonates, please feel free to give it a little thumbs up, comment below how it's resonating. All the love and support is very much appreciated here on the channel. And if you do find the messages helpful, um, somebody else may as well. So let's see here, Pisces, what we can see for you guys. Most important message here, Pisces, for spirit for Pisces. What does Pisces need to see for the month of February for their broken heart tarot reading? Let's see. Obedience. This talks about abiding by the rules. Let's see. Obedience, understanding, and success. So I feel like there's something big coming your way, Pisces. Um, however, there is going to be a need here, I feel, to be open receptive to this, how this plays out. Um, and I also feel like there's a need to follow the rules, whatever that means. Follow the rules. So let's see here, Pisces, what we can see for you. I feel like you're coming to um, a deeper sense of knowing maybe letting your intuition guide you. We are going to look into your part, your partner's part, what each of you can do to help resolve this. We will also take a look into, um, are there any other influences? Can it be saved? And is it worth it? Let's see here, Pisces. Most important message spirit for Pisces for the month of February. What does Pisces need to see? I feel like I want to say that you may have left your person. You may have walked away from a situation here, Pisces, um, that caused another person to feel left out in the cold. Okay. I do feel like there was a reason. There was reasoning behind this. Let's see. I want to say that there was a situation that you may involve, you may have been involved in a situation that you felt was going to um, hurt this other person or um, cause them sadness. And I feel like by walking away, that's exactly what happened. And I also feel like they may think that it's their fault. 
they feel like they're the reason you walked away. Okay. I do feel like this is like a completion. Okay, maybe there was a lot of water under the bridge in this relationship. Um, a lot of back and forth energy. Yes, a lot of conflicted energy. Okay, and I feel like that may be of been why you cut it off. I don't feel like necessarily cut it off. Maybe took him a step back. But I do feel like this person, your person, Pisces, feels like this is cut off. However, the hanged man is the underlying energy here. I do feel like they are waiting. You're going to have to decide if this is a person who you see yourself with for the long term. Because um, I feel like that's what the hang up is here. You may, it's like um, a connection that's just passing the time. I also feel like your intuition is blocked here with the star and the high priestess in reverse. I feel like you're not able to connect intuitively to your guides. This, this intuition is, this imbalance is causing your intuition to be off, okay? I do feel like there is a need kind of here to change your perspective on this. This conflict, um, try to focus on the positive things, um, on the lesson that you've learned, on the things that you still have and not the things that you've lost, right? That's what the Five of Cups talk about. It talks about somebody who's focusing on what they've lost instead of what they've gained. Um, I feel like there may be a need for a change in perspective here. Let's get a couple more cards for the advice. Hmm. Well, the positive thing is there's two fours, four of cups and four of swords, and we have the two of swords. So I feel like the only way to get back in tune, get back into balance, is this healing process. That may have very well been why you walked away from this connection, but I do feel like there is a need here for communication. If you are trying to come back together with this person, otherwise I feel like they may end this. The tower is in reverse on the bottom, okay? So this tells me that it the tower can be avoided, right? If you take the right steps, take the right precautions. I feel like those precautions is going to be communication here. Communicating um, your position, your stance with this person. I'll just say, like, I want to take a step back to kind of get clear within myself. Um, there's some things that I just want to have some clarity on and some healing that I need to do. It's nothing personal. And if you care for me, then you'll wait. Let's see. Most important message here for Pisces Spirit. I am going, I do want to do an extended reading, okay? I'm going to take a look at your person's intentions in the extended. I'm also going to take a look at where this is headed, right? The outcome. We'll pull out the guidance cards. We'll pull out the psychic tarot and the soul truth deck. If it's something you guys are interested in, the link will be below in the description box. Let's see. So Pisces, the card that came out for you, Power Thought, I prosper wherever I turn. 
I now see opportunities for abundance everywhere. I am blessed and prosper. I prosper wherever I turn. So, Pisces, that is the message I have coming out for you guys. Again, if you want to get in in the extended, the link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.